So how do you know if you're psychic? Well, there are some definite telltale signs and we're going to discuss them right here, right now. So if you are a psychic, you are foretelling the future. You are able to project into the future and say what is going to happen. Now, a psychic receives her or his spiritual guidance a few different ways. Now, spiritual guidance is the way the universe or spirit reaches out to us and we literally hear from God. Whether you call God Allah, Divine Source, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, the most illumined, our higher power, the universe, spirit, source. It's a higher power that we're hearing from. It's a power outside of ourselves that we are deeply and personally connected to. In fact, that energy lives deep inside of us, and I call it the Holy Spirit. But it is also outside of us, and it is above us. It is bigger than us, and that is called humility. We have to understand that as a psychic, we are lower than an energy that's helping us vibrate at a frequency high enough so that we can literally see cross dimension. That being said, psychics have the ability to see cross dimension in a number of different ways. You might dream and your dreams come true. When you wake up from a dream, you might find it very difficult to recall your dream. However, you have a great understanding that you just dreamt. Bits and pieces of your dream may come to you and you may try desperately to remember this dream that actually is an out-of-body experience and you will have just traveled that's right astral projection you will have traveled into another dimension it's not quite the same thing as having a psychic premonition in a dream when you wake up from a dream and you recall it and you say oh my gosh that was so real or oh because of the nature of the dream. It could not be so, it could be not so positive. And it becomes quite evident that it shook you. It really shook you off your center. Meaning, it could have scared you. It could have surprised you. It really changed something in you. That premonition could have alerted you to something. Also, when you're just going about your day, you might receive a vision. A vision is an actual scene, an image that you see that pops up what seems to be out of thin air. You definitely see a skit, a scene, a person, an image of some kind that is an anomaly to what you're looking at in your normal life in that current situation or moment in time. You may also have a vision or a psychic premonition while you are in the shower or the bath or washing your face or washing your hands, swimming. The conduit is water. Water represents emotion and spirituality, and water represents spirituality as a whole. It's very fluid. It is a vehicle of exchange of energy, and it is the most pure thing. Air, also. So when we look at what we're doing with water, we're purifying ourselves. And that vision comes out of what seems to be thin air could be a psychic premonition. How do you know? Well, things come to pass. 
and they come to pass either one time that shook you to your core enough to know that whoa did I make that happen well honestly you could very well have see psychics are that powerful that I really find it hard to believe there is a psychic that's not an empath an empath feels energy on a heightened frequency they are able to change other people's energy the energy of the situation they're in the energy of the environment the energy of their own energy and a psychic is able to see into the future and I believe a psychic empath or an empath empathetic psychic are able to project into the future and change the outcome how do I know because I've done it and I'm not the only one so if you have seen a vision and then you see another vision and you're afraid of it coming true because the last vision you saw a dream that you had a vision that came out of what seemed to be thin air came to you and it came true and it scared you and then you have another vision could be something different totally different or similar or even the same and you're afraid that it's going to come true first of all that's a valid concern second of all it doesn't necessarily have to come true I believe based on what our ancestors tell us and what I've experienced in my own life what my family has experienced and what my private coaching clients have experienced and have shared with me I believe that we absolutely have the power to change the trajectory of that vision so the next time you receive a vision that either freaks you out or makes you feel overjoyed write it down often what happens is we have multiple visions attached to a psychic premonition there's a puzzle piece that we put together also what will happen is we will feel the sensations over our human the burning the itching the crawling sensations the waves of energy and that is one sign another sign is what we hear we can hear a name a title a message of some sorts in conjunction with that vision so pay attention to what your human is feeling sensing hearing seeing tasting smelling all of the five senses coupled up with what you the soul inside of your human are seeing through your mind your mind's eye your spiritual sight your third eye your sixth sense well I hope that this has helped you understand whether or not you are a psychic and whether you're a psychic and an empath Thank you.